Welcome back to Time Linked, the new show about what's going on in the world of antique clock restoration. Wait a second. Shh. Oh. There's a new king of the hill for the well-known square root based W prime benchmark. And the top spot again belongs to the Intel Core i9-9920X after briefly losing the title to AMD a day earlier. Currently, the 9920X and AMD's Ryzen 9 3900X are within a half second of each other, so it's a very tight race. But an interesting takeaway is that although the chips both have 12 cores and 24 threads, AMD is going toe to toe with Intel despite running at lower clock speeds. The 3900X was overclocked to around 5.6 gigahertz, but the i9-9920K needed to be cranked up to around six gigahertz in order to produce similar results. So it's a bit of a Pyrrhic victory for Intel and shows how much AMD has improved its IPC to the delight of Team Red sympathizers everywhere. A Pyrrhic victory? If you have an Android phone and live in the US, you might notice that your texting experience has gotten a little uh, richer. <laughs> you fat cats. As the rollout of Rich Communication Services, or RCS, is complete for the entire country. In case you haven't heard, RCS is supposed to make texting for Android more like Apple's iMessage, with higher photo and video quality, Wi-Fi support, and notifications when someone else is typing. You'll need to check to make sure both the Android Messages app as well as the carrier services are updated to the latest version. Currently, the only other countries supported are Mexico, Britain, and France. We're just we're just missing out on things up here in Canada. I actually got it. I got a read receipt the other day for the James. That's very nice, Riley, but I did not. James, it's cool. And you have a Pixel Three. Yeah. I have a four. You bought one? I I like to be on the edge. Are you kidding me? I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. Wait, wait, wait. It's my phone. You it doesn't one? belong to LMG. The big drawback of wireless headphones is that uh, the batteries can die <laughs> when you're trying to listen to music. But what if you never had to remember to charge your wireless headphones ever again? Well, GBL is trying to work that out for you with their new crowdfunded Reflect Eternal Headphones, wow. which are powered by the sun. Ah. According to the company, leaving these headphones in the sun for 90 minutes will give you nearly three straight days of listening time. Although the solar sensitive material in the headphones can also draw from indoor light sources. That helps a lot up here. And they can charge via USB if necessary. If, if you're like a time traveler going to the past. JBL is asking 99 bucks for a pair with a targeted release date of October next year. Just in time for you to enjoy the sun setting before 5 p.m. Yeah, it's not gonna be that useful in the winter. Unless you're watching this and you're in Australia, oh. baby. Now it's time for the quick bits, brought to you by the Koss GMR54X ISO gaming headset at drop.com. Based on a popular existing design, the headset features custom engineered acoustics for immersive 3D sound, so you can become one with the game and get positional cues to hear where your enemies are coming from. It also has reduced tension in the lightweight headband for extended comfort. That's a lot of adjectives. And it includes a cord splitter, inline microphone with remote, and a detachable boom mic that works with PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and more without any hassle. Grab it today, and new users who sign up on drop.com can get $20 off this headset. So check it out at the link below. Quick bits, my love! The Cadillac Escalade has long been, let's say, a celebration of excess. <laughs> <laughs> and it's now even more so, as the 2021 model will be getting a 38-inch OLED that will take up over half of the dashboard. It's the biggest screen to show up in a mainstream vehicle Probably ever. I feel like this tech is developing out of order. Shouldn't we have a full self-driving car before we have a full movie watching experience? Some people can multitask. Don't do it. If you're watching movies online instead of watching movies through a subscription service like the rest of us, then you know that there are no takesies backsies once you hit rent. But Voodoo is rolling out a consumer friendly alternative. If you decide within the first half hour that the movie sucks, you can just stop it and get credit back by emailing their customer support department within 24 hours. At least that's email and not call. And that'll be incredibly useful the next time you rent a Michael Bay movie. Oh, <laughs> Got him! Rude! Whoa, ruthless. Oh, underground. Never heard of it. PewDiePie fans might have to deal with a, a lack of new content for a while as the YouTuber announced that he'll be taking a break early next year, saying that he was feeling very tired. So, so tired. It's unclear exactly when he'll go on hiatus or how long his break will be. 
He clearly should have pulled a Linus and hired a small army of people to do the work for him. Yeah, up top. That's us, eh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> night, night, Linus. Facial recognition isn't perfect. For example, it now appears that some forms of it can be defeated with masks. An AI company had some realistic 3D masks produced, not 2D masks, which cannot be produced in, in real life, 3D masks, which fooled both WeChat and Alipay to make fraudulent purchases. And the same team even tricked a system at a Dutch airport just with a photo. Wow, allowing them to board a plane. So if you happen to be a gate agent at an airport, your job is probably safe for a while. Unless you're just a terrible gate agent. Is that a, is that a 2D mask? <laughs> and Visa has issued a warning that hackers are stealing credit card data from gas pumps, but not from using skimmers like you might expect. Attackers have instead gotten access through infected emails. They then target mag strip cards that don't have security chips. It turns out that the gas companies haven't bothered upgrading to a system that encrypts card numbers. I mean, why would you expect that, huh? <laughs> I'd happily pay an extra five cents on that 99 cents soda inside if it meant not seeing thousands of dollars worth of fraudulent charges on my statement. Actually, I disagree with that part of the script yeah. because you're insured, who cares? Take my credit card, do whatever you want. It's not gonna hurt me. And also, who goes inside to buy a, a pop? And also, who buys pop? Yeah, <laughs> jeez Louise. That's our show for today. Come on back on Wednesday for free tech news. An even better deal than a 44 ounce pop of diabetes. Diabetes? How many is 44 ounces? Okay, so I don't know, six, 180 milliliters is six ounces, six times eight, 